Hi there. Imagine you're just having 20,000 Kenyan shillings. You could start a formidable business whereby you can't be able to turn around this money and even make a 40 to 60% profit within one week. That's the kind of business I'm going to be discussing in this video. A business which involves selling diapers in Kenya. I'm pretty sure, regardless of you living in which part of the country, you have seen business out there popping up, whereby even you find a single stall solely selling diapers in a given place. And even guys, in some residential areas, mostly in the city, we have multiple businesses in a single residential area. This tells you that there is opportunity in this business and actually this is an evergreen business mostly because all through the year we have an even distribution with regards to how babies are born in Kenya and with that it means the demand for diapers out there is consistently at peak. That tells you there is an opportunity for you to jump into this space and actually be able to make good amount of money starting off with just 20,000 Kenya shillings as you're gonna see in this video. But of course, your scale could even go upwards of even 100,000, a quarter million, you name it, depending on your business model and also the scale at which you want to operate. You are all much welcomed to the Money Daily YouTube channel. My name is Afaza Sifunam. And by the way, guys, if you look, I'd really appreciate if you can subscribe to this channel. Subscribe for you to be getting notified all the times I upload such awesome videos like this one. Thank you. So specifically for diapers, you might be wondering, where do you start? Or even, how do you go about it? Wanna know more because I'm gonna discuss all those nitty gritties in this video. Specifically for this business, you could be able to get somewhere between 40% to 60% depending on the model you choose and actually for even those big scale models out there you could even be able to turn in a hundred percent profit it all depends on where you source your products the quality of your products and also the traffic you're attracting in that the customers are coming to your business for you to be able to turn in a profit but in case you know to all these maybe because you haven't had a child or even you haven't had a person for example who are required to buy that price for you might be wondering what are these and actually why are they important? You see guys, diapers are essentially self-care products which are fundamental in assisting with continency. Both for children and even other out there, for example, who have bladder problems. But in this video, of course, the focus is for children because we have fast moving products in the country and that is the option with which we want to go through for you to be able to make good amounts of money. And as I mentioned, it depends also on the business model you adopt. And of course, there are three business models. Let me just tell you, and then I'm going to tell you specifically for this video, the model you're going to be relying on for us to discuss this business idea. You could, for example, be having already a retail shop. So you infuse this diapers business in a retail shop model, okay? That's why in almost all the retail shops in the country, you also have them selling single pieces of diapers to their clients. Secondly, you could start a standalone shop out there which just sells diapers to clients. And with the time scale, which actually requires a heavy level of investment, is you acting as a wholesaler. This is the next level of the business that I recommend you start small. So the second option is the best. You having a store solely dedicated to selling diapers, right? You might be wondering, what is this going to cost you for you to actually establish it and run it in Kenya? For the stock of diapers, for most people out there, they'll be shocked that actually just need under 10,000 for you to have a stock of diapers. But beyond that, just as another other business out there, you're going to require, for example, to pay rent, to get necessary permits, you name it. So all this could possibly push your business kit to upwards of 20,000, depending on the kind of store you want to take and also depending with the scale you want to operate at. But I think somewhere a soft range of, for example, 50,000 could be a good range for you to have a decent shop and also to have good stock and get all the necessary permits which you require for you to start a business. In other words, the largest chunk of your initial investment is going to go towards rent and securing permits. The money that's going to go towards stock is just a little amount of money. And the good thing is that with this, you're going to be able to replenish your stock as and when it gets depleted. And when it comes to getting stock, maybe wondering where exactly 
can you possibly get stock from? In Kenya, almost all the urban areas in the country have those dedicated wall cells which actually sell these kind of products. To give an example in Nairobi, we have a myriad of wholesales around the OTC area. While you have buses from Muranga and also Kiambu Road area, and also on Mombasa Road around Samia, Samia Park area, we have multiple wholesalers who are dedicated to us selling these diapers. And of course, they sell diapers in different brands out there. Talk about Huggies, Pampers, Soft Care, you name it. You gotta get different types of diapers out there because also customers prefer different brands of diapers. But the most important thing that also want to get diapers which move pretty fast in the market. You don't have idle stock in your shop, right? Once you get us sorted, starting our business, having the stock in place, now it is upon you to ensure you put your business out there and also retain customers. You could go about advertising your business, for example, through Facebook, or even actually you could actually run an advert on Facebook, whereby you can localize your advert to a given area, indicating you're selling this particular kind of product and also specify the age range of those people you want to target. And even beyond that, you can also have some pretty simple flyers which tell the people in a particular resident area where your business is and also the kind of business you do. And with this, in just a few weeks, be sure you're going to be having customers coming in fast and furious to your business. So the owner can appoint you to see how to retain these customers. And for you to be able to retain customers, you need just to ensure two things in this business. The first thing, always have unquestionable quality products. In this business of selling babies' diapers out there, we have lots of counterfeits. So ensure you have high quality and original products for you to be able to give your customers awesome products because you give them something counterfeit. And for example, a baby out there gets hurt, chances are you're going to lose that particular customer. But if you're giving them original products, they're going to keep coming back for more and more. And the second thing that also complement that with having good interpersonal skills and customer service. Most of the times people go back to a different place because of their experience, not necessarily because of the product they have gotten for that particular place. So have good interpersonal skills and be sure the customers are going to keep coming back and back to your business. I hope you've gotten a thing or two from this video and this is the kind of business maybe you're looking forward to implement in whichever area out there. Don't hesitate. Start and maybe just be in a business where you could even be able to scale and even become a big wholesaler. Thank you for watching. I look forward to with you other awesome videos next time. Bye-bye and you all take care.